18 year old model Kaya Gerber hit the red carpet Wednesday night and she was rocking some sparkling new Ooh. bling amid rumors she's dating Pete Davidson and no, it was not a ring, an engagement ring. It was a necklace, you guys, a P initial necklace that everybody is talking about. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she has been spotted out with Pete numerous times within the last month, which we'll break down in a second. But first initial reaction, Tanner? I don't know. Uh, this is it's weird to me. Kaya just turned 18 uh, in September. Pete's 25. To me, that age difference. Look, I get it. A lot of people, <laughs> the age range isn't that big a deal. But when you've just turned 18, <laughs> And Pete Davidson is not a rookie. He's not new to the scene, boys and girls. But more so, what are your thoughts? And Brianna, our producer in the control room, I want to get your thoughts mm -hmm. too. Of obviously, she knows there are rumors out there right now in the media yeah. that she and Pete are dating because they've been spotted together. Sure. And then now you're wearing wearing the P necklace. A P necklace. She Granted, her brother's name is Presley, but I don't think uh, I don't think she's wearing her brother's initial right there. No, I would never wear a J not. for my brother. Love you, but wouldn't do it. Not happening. What I mean, what it, it, do you think she's trying to make a statement? Brianna? Um, I mean, I think she knows what she's doing. That's what it seems like. <laughs> do you, Ladies, think, it's, really do you think it's for Pete? Look, I'm curious who out there Probably. is wearing yeah. jewelry with their other, their significant other's initials on it. Have you done this, Cassie? Brianna, have you done this? Um, uh, I'm so single. <laughs> oh, no, that's listen. a yes. Tell, you better fess up right it's now. It's been an option, but no. But no, okay. The Cassie. only initials I have ever worn, honey, are C and D for yeah. Cassie Delora. Okay. Because oh as Emma gosh. Watson says, I am self-partnered. But, it's but if not... you're with Pete, if you're with Pete, you're on the date with Pete. Either one of you on the date with Pete. If I was like, in a serious like, relationship. I got this for you. And he gave you the P necklace. You want that big If I was energy. ready. <laughs> If I was ready to take it public mm -hmm. and put it on a red carpet, then yeah, I would mm -hmm. wear it. It's something, I mean, we've seen many celebrities in the past this do something is, like that. I remember, think this is remember, remember when Meghan Markle was dating Prince Harry back in 2016 and she had the H necklace? Right. It's, it's but a also, subtle, when you're trying to lock down a prince. Felt. <laughs> you're trying to lock down a prince. That's different than locking down Pete Davidson. She had the necklace and then she got the ring and now she's got the baby. Okay, let's let's step through this just a little bit because this this relationship, uh, these two, okay, so. Rumored relationship. Rumored. Look, I'm going to say it's a thing. I don't necessarily ship it, but I'm going to say it's a thing. We know that just earlier last month, ten on the 23rd, they were spotted in New York City having mm -hmm. lunch. On the 24th, he's leaving her apartment. Now, we don't know if that was like the morning that he was leaving her apartment. Okay, because, now no. you're just making assumptions here. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not the one wearing the P necklace. And, okay, fast forward to just a few days ago, uh -huh. November 4th, they were spotted for dinner at Nobu in Malibu, mm -hmm. so they've had hangouts, I'm going to mm -hmm. call them hangouts because yeah. it's still a rumored romance. We can call it an, uh, a hangout, they've, and I'm hitting the air quotes here. They've hung out in New York, and they've hung out in Los Angeles. Oh, Cassie, tell, tell, tell everybody about that little piece of info I dug up, I'm super proud of this. About you tell them, you're so proud of it. potential first hangout. You tell them. Okay, great. I'll tell you. So here's <laughs> the thing is like they potentially first hung out in May because they both walked mm -hmm. for Alexander Wang. Do we have these photos? I think we got the photos. Could it be Alexander Wang that was like the cue for it all? Listen, if Wang brought these two together. <laughs> I, what's it? I don't know. I didn't have an end. Where, I, I was going to say, where are you that. going with this? I, you were gonna I don't that. know. At the end of the day, I am not the biggest fan of this relationship. Why not? I'm gonna go out and say I think that I think that Pete, and we'll, we'll get into it in a second, kind of a breakdown well, of all the we're relationships. We're doing it visually right here. So we're going through had. all of his exes. Okay. That's the thing. That is my point. Is I feel like he has been in numerous relationships. Oh, look at as this of, team. As of within the last couple of years, and I feel like Kaya, especially being so young that she is. Granted, I do feel like she is very mature. Okay. I feel like she's too young for this. Really we got these ladies on screen. We got to call them out right here. On the far left, there is Margaret Qualley. She's 24. That's Andy McDowell's daughter. They dated. Um, they were rumored to be dating. Rumored, 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 rumored. They were rumored <laughs> to be dating the they last couple months. got you all shook months. up. Things ended in October. Um, she's a star of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. A lot of people saw that movie. Her mom, Andy McDowell, uh, uh, told People Magazine that, quote, they have a beautiful relationship. Look, if mom confirms that it, that's confirmed. And then before that, you guys, of course, he was rumored to be dating Kate Beckinsale. Remember those tongue-twisting photos oh, of them making forget? out at hockey at the hockey game back in March? Talk that was short-lived. That was around like January to April of 2019. And then before that, of course, it seems like yesterday. This is what's wild right, to me. Yeah. Ariana Grande, they dated from May 2018 she and really then were engaged in June of 2018 before calling it quits in October. 
And then even before Ariana was Cassie David, and that was kind of a lengthier relationship yes. for Pete. That was about two years. <laughs> but I just, I feel like in my own personal opinion, mm -hmm. is it feels like yesterday that he dated Ariana. I well, mean, it really was only last year. So much was made of that. They were, it was everywhere in the news, and then they, she referenced mm -hmm. him in the Thank You Next video, so we were talking about it then, and, and then maybe, he turned right around and started dating Kate Beckinsale. So we've been talking about Pete Davidson and, and maybe relationships. maybe that's why for I have now. such a sour taste in my mouth is because it is in the media, and mm -hmm. it is a public, you know, he is he's a public figure. And Are you so, into Pete Davidson? No. And no it, I but, am. Brianna, really? tell me. Okay, Brianna, tell me why. Why, why do you like Pete? There I don't know. I don't know. I think it's because he's funny. I mm -hmm. don't know. Okay. I think it's just because he's funny and he, like, carries himself like he just doesn't care. And it's, I just the, like it's the public <laughs> PDA that gets me. It's like... I mean, his his age range is kind of all over the place. Yeah. Uh, 46 to 18? Uh, Kaya <laughs> is, yeah, 18. And That's Kate a is demographic. 46. Pete Davidson That's doesn't a have a type. demographic. His type is, seems to be uh, beautiful <laughs> brunettes, too, and sure. a lot who like New York City as well. But, you know, I, I, like I said, at the end of the day, I feel as if just be, because he is a celebrity, because his relationships are a little bit more public, mm. I feel like it's almost, in my mind, it's it's like almost too many. Um, He's probably still rebounding. Yeah, you know, that, that could He's probably well still be rebounding from Ariana. But you know, a, once you have Ariana, you got to find a replacement. He probably, maybe he hasn't found that yet. I will say, Kaya was on the red carpet wearing the pea necklace with her mom and her grandma, mm -hmm. and I feel like that could... Your your mom would see it, and if oh, she yeah. had a mom problem knows. with it, she would probably say, "Hey, maybe you shouldn't take it off, oh, or you, you should take it off." She's 18. Do you think she's doing everything mom says? Come on now. Even if mom is Cindy Crawford, <laughs> and you have those beautiful, beautiful jeans, still your life. You live it how you want. Internet. Do you guys ship this relationship? Rumored relationship, I will say, because they have not confirmed. Or who do you want to see Pete date next? Because He's because you know, listen, December's right around the corner. Also, do y'all think the P is for Pete? Why December what right around it, the corner? Because it's, it's another a new month. one every month. Come on, boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cassie Day. Right. Cassie Delora, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on, you guys. <laughs> another day, another business venture. Drake is adding to his resume. Y'all, we've got More Life Growth Company. That's Drake's new one. It's a cannabis wellness company. Kudos, kudos to this guy. Um, it seems like weed just became legal in Canada. Drake's obviously Canadian, got a lot of business mm -hmm. ventures going on in Canada. This in fact, just makes sense. In fact, the business is based in Canada, and we don't know many details, don't know a lot of details but this yet. is what we know from the announcement. More <laughs> Life is based, of course, in Drake's hometown of Toronto. He actually owns 60% of the company. That's yeah. a very smart business move right yeah. there. And the company is centered around wellness, discovery, and overall personal overall growth. Overall personal growth is a great business. I, I, I like that Whoa. one. I like that motto right there. Overall personal and, growth. And uh, lucky for us, we're going to uh, get more details and the vision of the company in weeks to come. But I feel like he has been teasing this recently. He's been sending mysterious flowers mm -hmm. to people around Toronto in mm -hmm. promotion of this new company. And now we finally freaking know what it was all about. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, I don't know, I, I feel like this is becoming more and more common, especially in the uh, celebrity, oh my celebrity gosh, sphere yeah. to dive into the cannabis wellness arena, Look, when se. I think about Drake doing this, to me, this is a retirement level move. Like, he's not going anywhere anytime soon, but, it, but opening a company mm -hmm. like this in uh, Canada right now, owning 60% of this company, knowing that there's nothing but growth coming in that industry for the next 20 years. No pun intended, hey growth, growth, hey! But to me, it's because it, the company called growth not for other things right Just say. but no but also other things um we've got to talk about these other celebrities though real quick and then and then i'm so blown away by all of his other business oh my centers. god but what? other people jumping in on mm -hmm. the cbd choo choo train you know gwyneth um, paltrow's lifestyle website goop they've announced that they're going to put some cbd products into yeah. their rotation of course whoopi goldberg mm -hmm. she's got whoopi and maya her mm -hmm. lifestyle line oh um, man and then that guy products. on the right Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. <laughs> Shocker. Willie's <laughs> Remedy, full of products, uh, wellness products. Brie, you, know, uh, you know Willie's wellness products? No, what are they? <laughs> we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. We got to break down Drake's business. I had ventures. no idea he had so many other businesses. 
So many, I can't even keep track of it, which is why we had to write it down on the note card. You guys, she's got Ovo, October's very own. It's a clothing brand. They use a lot of owls in their uh, in their marketing. Uh, you see it there on the screen. A lot of expensive jackets. So he's got the yeah, clothing OVO. brand. What our producer AJ told me earlier today. Ovo, <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> do have you do have any merch from? Uh, I haven't been into an Ovo. AJ's been into OVO, an Ovo. Ovo, Tanner, Ovo. Ovo. <laughs> Ovo. AJ, did you not call it Ovo? Yes, He's shaking his head. Yes, it's AJ Ovo. is wrong. He, it's this OVO. Is happening. This is I'm, happening. I'm staying, I'm staying OVO, October's very own. Well, that's when you say that. Thank okay. you. But so, okay, so it's not only streetwear, but it's also a music label. Yeah, yes. he's got his own. Of course he does. I mean, one of the biggest names in the game. Uh, of course, he's going to have another Toronto-based company, too. Um, yeah, he's got some big acts. For on the label already, Party Next Door, Roy Woods, and mm -hmm. and he's got a, a a big backing behind it too. It's distributed through Warner Records. No big deal. Then no we also got to talk about Virginia Black Whiskey. I didn't even know this was a thing. Because when you're such a big businessman, you gotta you gotta have right? some type of alcohol to calm you down. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has a champagne too. I don't see this on yes, not in here, but I yeah, he's got a whiskey poppy. and a champagne. Yeah, he's Virginia whiskey, Black, you guys. A jacket line, and, and then he's got the growth company, and you, he's got the Raptors. I know. I was gonna say, then you gotta you gotta have a place to to sip all your businesses courtside, and that's. Oh my God! What if he hit the business like quadrifecta? Like, what if he <laughs> he's there in an OVO sweatshirt at the Raptors, holding his champagne, holding a Virginia or Black his Virginia whiskey, Black whiskey, watching and on his then, phone. A clip from HBO's Euphoria, which he's the executive he's producer, producer of, on. and then you know, go on to your big private God jet that me. you have too. I mean, this guy, boss he cannot. Moves. He is a boss. I don't. I just. I don't even know how he has time. Pete Davidson to racks do it up ex-girlfriends. Drake racks up businesses. <laughs> and it's crazy. So we are moving on. Come on, Cass, come on. All right. <laughs> to our MVP, you guys. It's that time in the show to I love this. highlight this our one. most viral post. I know you do love this one. I'm so into this. Niall Horan and Diplo, they are the dynamic duo we never knew we needed. And they just dropped the remix to Niall's okay. Nice to Meet You song. Here's and the remix. The internet is freaked out by this. Okay, Cassie, let me break this down. This is the coolest thing ever. What were what you're watching right now is a deep fake where Diplo put his face on Niall Horan's body. Now, seemingly. Seemingly. Now, where you have to pay close attention to is when he turns sideways because you see, it's just like a face filter on Instagram, except times a million, and you'll see it turn on and off. Which I feel bamboozled by because yeah. you saw my reaction the first time I oh, watched you were this into video. It. You and were I was laughing. I was like, oh my God, Diplo's so committed. He's he's really channeling Niall here. He looks just like him. So, okay, there's Niall and, and on the left. Diplo then on the right. Y'all fooled me. <laughs> y'all fooled me. It's such a good deep fake, if it actually is. Oh, yeah. Um, totally deep. Obviously, a lot of speculation about it. Um, it's so good, it's no wonder that Niall Horan tweeted Diplo saying, oh, I love this, yeah. Nice, you, your ass looks great. Your well, ass looks great. Because Peach he emoji. would essentially be talking about him. Because it, it's, it's his own butt. It's his own body. It diplo's face. I just you I but know you are way, fascinated by Check the timestamp on that. 2:30 in the morning. Come You're on, right. Nile. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking well, at your own no, ass at 2:30? Listen, I'm going to oh, for a what? second. It could be 2:30 uh we're Our time? we're, scra we're oh. screenshotting it from a yeah. Pacific standard yeah. time. He could be on the East Coast now it'd be 2 3 4 5 8 5:30 in the morning. Or in England, which is like Or in England, which is even way ahead. We didn't, we didn't know where he was at the but moment of that. But I like the 2:30 a.m. You love deep fakes. You are fascinated by the world. I think they're hilarious. Um, They're scary. You, They're you're the creepy. one who introduced me to it. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is this is fascinating to me. Um, although it's also quite freaky to think that you could put like your face on my body. Yeah. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> I know. Okay, Cassie. Hey! Yeah. It's time to go. Hey! <laughs> Bree, okay. Do you like the Diplo version or the Nile version more? I mean. They're the same. They're, <laughs> They're the same? essentially the same. I mean, the Diplo one is interesting because, I mean, it just freaks me out a little bit. I don't know. I don't agree with this whole deep fake thing. How do you feel about the white boy wiggle going on in the music video? <laughs> I don't agree with that either. You don't like that? Come on now. <laughs> it's not I doing it for not me. not with you Why does he have those medium-sized slacks on? <laughs> I yeah. would say this is, I mean, this is quite the, I, no one's really done this, I feel like, for a music video. I think video. it's great. I love it as a music and video, And really. since the song is a remix, like, this puts, like, deep fake is essentially a remix of them two bodies, heads put together, get it? Uh, mind blown! 
We did it. We did we it did. here on the okay. download today. All we, right. We what, what a day. Yeah. You guys, I want to say really quickly, Denny, the, is Tanner's filling in today because Denny is on a shoot right now interviewing Logan Paul Before ahead the of big, the big fight the big this fight. weekend. We yeah. had KSI here on the show yesterday. He was talking a lot of smack about the fight and what to expect. So now we're going to get Logan's perspective. Mm -hmm. So that will all be up on ET Online later today. And we'll be back tomorrow for a brand new episode of the download 12 p.m. Pacific time. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know your thoughts. Give us the deets. Give us your thoughts. Let us know which version of the video you like best. Who should I deepfake on Cassie? You know. Nobody. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>